guys make sure to like and subscribe as you many of you guys know sports was watched by many americans millions i would say around the globe across states but we're going to discuss why sports is just such a big thing around america first off we got american football one of the most highly watched sports in america it's only seen in america and is a global sport here in the states uh, football consists of obviously scoring. Each play consists of four plays drawn up by the offense. The offense has to either score within four plays where they punt the ball or it becomes a turnover. Football is one of the most watched sports because a lot of points do get scored. Each point counts as a touchdown. A touchdown is basically you scored a point. Like in soccer, it's a considered a goal. And a touchdown is seven points. Field goal is three points. So you can see how points can add up over time and become one of the most exciting sports experiences you will ever see. Football is also really highly regarded, as most uh, most people know, as a devoted fan base. Really devoted. People who watch football, breathe football, watch it on Mondays, could watch it on Friday. really doesn't matter. Football is just such a big thing here in America with some of the most devoted people who spend most of their time just watching games like myself. I um I love football. Obviously, many of you do. And this is the time of year where football gets big, okay? The NFL is finishing up the regular season. It's almost done. Uh, college football is starting the playoffs. This is an exciting time of the year for football. It's December here in um, Minnesota. And Minnesota is known for maybe uh, revolutionizing sports in any type of way. We are not good at sports, let's be honest. Our men's teams are awful. Our ladies' teams can, could uh, are really good. Um. But that's besides the point. Uh, it's not really about if your sports team is really good or if you should be watching sports if your team is bad or if you should even show up to a game. No, sports is about community. Now, this doesn't get talked about often, but sports typically revolves around building a community and a fan base that typically sticks with the team, no matter the horrible um, records and stuff that the team could be really bad. Just like at the Detroit Lions, they have some of the most devoted fans. Why do they have some of the most devoted fans? Well, because the Lions have sucked for 15 years at this point. We don't even I don't even know when the last good season for the Lions was. But now that they're having a really good season, their attendance spike. So sports definitely have the ability to, um, to go downhill, but then spike later in the future, especially if your team's really good. Um, so sports is typically a revolving door, meaning that there's a lot of opportunities in which to make profits, and it's really just that simple. Sports and communities typically stick together, even if, sure, your team could be the worst in the league. Like the Cleveland Browns had two seasons not too long ago, a few years ago, about six or seven years ago, where if we all remember the Browns would own 16-2 season, do you think anybody did not show up to that stadium? Oh, no. The Browns still had stadiums packed to half capacity. Maybe it was more to mock their team. I have no idea, but no matter if your team is bad, awful, good, doesn't really. it could fall in between. It really doesn't matter because sports fans are devoted as hell. They're some of the most devoted people. In fact, doing sports is like their job. You know, it's, it's getting up every morning, working in an eight-hour shift. Sports is obviously some of the most devoted people you'll ever see who love their team, even if their team's awful. You know, um... Yeah, you know, some, some people get drawn the good cards and some people get drawn the bad cards. It's it's that simple. Uh, you don't always get the players or the team that you want. You know, you can't really pick and choose. And it goes into the budget of spending. Uh, that's most, most teams who are really good typically do spend the most money on big house names like uh, Messi and your your. Oh, Tani that just got paid recently, $700 million. These are big names. These are teams and areas that typically can only be afforded by these big teams like LA. LA or Los Angeles is obviously a big sports market because it's LA. LA is a luxury. It's luxury. I mean, like, luxurious lifestyle. That's why LA gets the most money. That's why LA can afford these type of big names. Other teams like smaller teams that um, play that have a devoted fan base like Chicago. Um, you're not going to Chicago if you're a really big name, especially if you're 
at the bottom of your career, the twilight zone, like we like to call. Those are typically players who are about to retire and want to settle somewhere where yeah, they can go big and set off their uh, their last career somewhere where they can have a luxurious life. So Chicago is not looked at one as one of them, just like Minneapolis would never be looked at as that. So there's a reason why L.A. attracts some of these big superstars who are in the twilight of their career. There's a reason why L.A. is so appealing. Not every not every um, sports team is L.A., though, and have to find other ways in which they can sustain a very reasonable or balanced team in which can compete against some of the highest level in sports. And that's where we get involved with sports and then the competitiveness of sports. If you do not know, sports is highly competitive. Every single team that could be bad can compete with any team on any given day and can knock off a really good team on any given day. It really it doesn't matter. Sports athletes compete the hardest, and they typically go out there and give it their all, even if their team isn't very good. We, we've seen it before where we see a lot of upsets. Sports is unique in the fact that um, many teams are typically – devoted just as much as the fans and they want their team to do really well and so do the players and the athletes losing only lasts for a few few seasons especially in most sports leagues around america it's not like the premier league where you can suck for a few years and probably never get good uh money is distributed evenly in uh, american sports meaning that each team has a fair uh, shot of getting good players and a fair shot of solidifying um, money in tor- terms of getting these players in. Um, sports in America is very different than Europe in which they can actually, they have a thing called a salary cap. Salary cap is really big in America. It just basically means that each team has about the same to spending, meaning that it's a very balanced um, profiteering to get into. It's super balanced, meaning that any team, no matter the star power, can still compete. And that's what makes us uh, so special and unique in America is that sports is really about the passion. It's about the community. It's about everything that gets put into it. It's about the people who watch it. Because it, without those viewers and the people who watch and the people who put their time and put their money into it and the investments go into sports, let's be honest, sports needs investments and else it cannot sustain itself. The Premier League... It gets investments from TV sponsors and other things like that. Here in America, there's huge sponsors that sponsor any team, local, community. It could be anything. Sponsors typically are more driven towards um, trying to make this team more profitable in the long term. Well, trying to do what's best for the team in the long run also. Uh, they got general managers who typically watch over teams and are um, in charge of basically everything, the funding, the team, and what gets spent, and the decisions that are made. Uh, not every good manager. There's not every um, really uh, really great managers, um, not many of them. There's not really many good head coaches either. The thing is, sports is about the players who want to put the time and effort into it. But if that time and effort, but mostly the time and effort pays off. You can be a really bad team next five years. You'll look like the next, uh, the next super house, super powerhouse. And that's what's special about sports is that we all love sports because we know that over time it's a big investment and that the investment pays off for any team, local or community. Make sure to watch my video about how animation is down trending. Next video will be on about animation, so I really want to keep you guys up to, up to date on what is going on on my channel. I really would like you guys to subscribe, as by the end of next year, I'd really like to hit 200 subscribers, and I want my uh, you guys to help me out here as I continue to make better videos and strive into the future for my content. This is my video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Peace.